text that reads like it's been plucked straight from the pages of a crime novel, or the storyline of The Sopranos. Gun running, prostitution rings, gruesome murders, and a criminal web so huge it stretched to include dozens of cops, billionaire businessmen, and even the former head of the city's Justice Bureau. Two courts in Chongqing have opened trials involving more than 600 people accused of being involved in mafia-style gangs. It follows an eight-month city-wide operation. More than 2,000 people have been investigated for everything from assassinations to racketeering. As many as 7,000 police officers were involved in the investigations, many working up to 16 hours a day to bring the case to court. One officer even reportedly died of exhaustion while others had to be given counselling. At the courts, security has been beefed up to counter any security threats. Local newspapers report that some court officials have been put under protection. Chongqing Party Chief Bo Xi Lai has backed the investigation, which was led by Police Chief Wang Li Jun, a man known as an anti-mafia hero. This case is shining a rare light on China's murky underworld. Few cases before it have involved so many police officers, lawmakers and local officials. And I'm not talking about the ones who brought this case to court, but rather the ones that prosecutors say have been in bed with the very criminals turning Chongqing into their playground. The most notable person to stand trial this week is Wen Tiang, the former head of the judiciary and an ex-vice police chief. He's accused of amassing assets worth nearly $15 million and of protecting mobsters in exchange for bribes and kickbacks. His brother's wife, Xie Tsai Ping, was also detained. She's charged with holding senior roles in local crime organizations and running illegal businesses, including casinos. Chongqing escalated its campaign against organized crime after the murder of an 18-year-old soldier who was shot at his sentry post and robbed of his submachine gun in March. Chongqing was reportedly one of China's biggest centers for weapons trafficking. The gangs also control prostitution, gambling, drugs, entertainment and many local businesses, including one city bus company. Tom McKenzie, BON.